because I can prove from the Gospels that he was Torah observant. Now, yeah. that wouldn't excite Christian evangelists because they're like, no, you've got to tell them about the cross. And I'm like, mm, I don't have to. We'll get there. Or should I say, should I say, the Spirit will get them there if that's what's meant to happen. Because the first barrier is, in fact, that Orthodox Jews believe Jesus started a new religion and that Jesus yeah. abandoned Torah. And if he abandons Torah, there's... It doesn't matter if he hung on 50 crosses. It doesn't matter yeah, what he did. There's a pre-existing commandment from Moses at the end of Deuteronomy that says, if a prophet comes to you and shows you signs and wonders yeah. and teaches you, teaches you to abandon this Torah, you are not to listen to him. The only, the only reason that doesn't work in Jesus' case is if he came and performed signs and wonders, but he did not teach them to abandon the Torah. And yeah. that's, I found that to be a great... Oh, okay, yeah, which he didn't. He, he lived right. it, he taught it, he argued it, he discussed it, he quoted it, he debated it, he stood for it. Okay, then in my mind, I was like, that's well, it. that settles and it. Now, now watch what that does. That would be a lot, again, we understand that's a lot for a Christian ear to accept and to believe because you get so fundamentally taught that he was against Torah. But can I tell you what? If I was... One of the authors of the Gospels in the first century, and I knew I had to sell this story to Jews, to the Pharisees. Guess what I would do? It's a huge sell. It's a cocky sell. It's a confident sell. But you're going to laugh when I say this. I would tell the story of Jesus at 12 years old and then deliberately ignore the next 18 years. Hmm. That's exactly what I would do. Because this is not an average sell. This was never going to be... The, the, the claims we make about Jesus is outrageous. It is absolutely out of the... It, it's strange. Yeah. But it's either... I think it was... What's his name? I think it was C.S. Lewis. I think it was him. I might... I stand corrected. Who said, Jesus either is everything he says he is, or he's a madman. But you can't have a middle ground. There's no, he either is as unique as he claimed to be and others claimed he was, or he is to be completely dismissed as a complete nut job. 